It happened here outside this Dollar Tree in Laurel in January of 2020. But because of COVID court delays, the suspect didn't make it into court until earlier this year. Now we're hearing from at least one animal advocacy group disappointed with the outcome. It's horrible. It's wretched. It's 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 saddening. Strong reaction from Laurel residents nearly three years after an incident in this shopping center parking lot. Police say a man went into the Dollar Tree, bought a bag of popcorn, scattered it on the parking lot to lure seagulls, then ran them over with his car, killing 11. It's imperative to treat these crimes with the severity that they deserve. Otherwise, people get the message that it's OK to do this. Nina Jackal with the animal advocacy nonprofit Lady Freethinker says they've been following this case from the very beginning. She was stunned when earlier this year, the man arrested and charged with the crime, Nathaniel Thompson, took an other plea and was placed on the STET docket. And in doing so, he avoided all jail time, all fines, all restitution. This will actually be expunged from his record in a year as long as he doesn't commit any further offenses. So it's almost like the crime never even happened. The Prince George's County State's Attorney's Office sent us a statement saying in part, our office was unable to move forward with the prosecution of this case due to witness unavailability. The state requested a continuance to allow the essential witness to travel back to the area. However, the court denied the request. The prosecutor only gave the key witness a week, a week's notice. So they, they didn't have enough time to prepare. Laurel residents are upset by the news that Thompson will likely get off without so much as a slap on the wrist. Jail is not always the answer to me, but definitely some sort of court mandated program, help, something, because that's an, that's that's an atrocity. That's horrible. Nina Jackal says police did a great job of tracking down and charging the suspect. She just hopes the state's attorney's office will take cases of animal cruelty more seriously in the future. In Laurel, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.